वेलकम टू द चैनल नॉलेज स्टार कॉन्टिन्यूस नॉलेज एक्सेलेंस माई नेम इज निशा मसरूर वेल दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर डेटा साइंस फॉर द बिगनर्स एंड फॉर दिस फर्स्टली आई विल गिव यू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ आर एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर विपिन सिंह प्रोफेशनल एजुकेटर एंड ट्रेनर सो वॉच एंड टेक द एडवांटेज ऑफ द वीडियो आई बी मीटिंग सोन सो वॉट यू कैन डू देन इज वन सेव लॉग इन टू गूगल क्लाब यू कैन गो टू फाइव ऑन द टॉप मेन यू शेयर and you can say new notebook right so since you are starting you will anyways have this menu here so you can say new notebook and click on new notebook and it will open a new notebook for you right so if you see here on the top everybody this is saying untitled 6 right so here is where you can give a name to your notebook so let's say we say python introduction right so you can write p y t h o n I turn and it's called I N P R O P U C T I O N, right? And press enter. This is our first Google Colab notebook where we're going to write our program, right? Now, if you see here, there is there are two tabs here. One is the code, the other is the text. So, text is where you can write anything, any message that you want to. It will not be a part of your running of your program. So, let's say you click on text. So here you are. So I can write anything. Let's say I say welcome to Doctor Vipin's Python assist, right? And let's say press enter. So here you are. So this is uh, something that is not going to be part of your code. It is just a message. And if you want to move it around, you can just click here and put it on the top. So welcome to Doctor Vipin's Python classes, right? Now if you see, there is another uh, block that is black in color. This is where you can code. If I want to add a new block, I can just click on plus and say plus code. Right, so this will give me the new code block where I can write. Right, again, uh, let's say you want to print. This is my first Python class. Right, so I can say print, and I can say in double quotes, this is my first F I R S T first Python class. Right, now this is a part of the program. and what is this doing as the name indicates uh, you can see this is a print statement so this is going to print this statement that is within double quotes wait 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 are you worry about your project training dissertation internship don't think too much because nano science and technology consortium in short nstc is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks nstc also conducts workshop on amazing topics So, if you want to register in the workshop, the registration link is given in the description box below, or you may go to the website www. nano school. in, where you can easily enroll in the workshops. So, just check it out right now. Now, if you see the syntax, you have the command which is print, which is followed by round brackets. The first round bracket opens here, and the last round bracket that is corresponding to the opening bracket is here. and in between you have a message in double quotes that are going to print right so if you run this now so for running you have to click on this play button here right so when you run this taking some time it is going to print this statement print this is my first python class so it is going to print so if you see here here is my output this is my first python class so what i'll do is uh, i'll not uh, keep typing what i'll do is i'll use a pre written script so that we can uh, save some time and so what i'm now going to load as a pre written script so i go back to again file here and in file i say open notebook so this is going to open up my previous notebooks that are there already so i say open notebook and it gives me the list of notebooks that are there right so i i'm going to use this workshop that ipy nb right so this is so this is my pre written script so this is what we're going to follow today and of course i'll be keep i'll keep modulating it a bit so that you also uh, keep to uh, uh, learn a few things that are not mentioned here and then of course we can move on right so here you are first part what we are getting familiar with python now you already know how to print a message in python right so you say you use the print command the print command the syntax is there has to be print state print and then followed by round brackets within the round brackets whatever you want to print you can print right for example here we say print and in round brackets welcome to dr wipin's python workshop right so when you run this part now here this is what you get right welcome to dr wipin's python workshop now i want to add one more code snippet here so i can click on code and let's say i say 
print and I just want to print one, right? So one can be directly given here. So this is a number This can be directly given. So you say print one is going to print one for you, right? So this is what you have. Now there is uh, this option of, you know, whatever you want to print as a statement has to go within double quotes. Sometimes you might want to print also the double quotes within the statement that you want to print. So you can also use single quotes. For example, here I say print. My name is Vipin. This is going to print. My name is Vipin. Here in the second statement, I say print. And again, I open my round brackets. And now I'm giving the argument in single quotes. He said and double quotes welcome. So what this is going to do is the double quotes that are there inside will now be treated as part of the statement. right? So when you run this part now, here is what you get. My name is Vipin because this was just within single quotes. So single quotes and double quotes can be used interchangeably. In case you want double quotes within the print statement, then you have to use outside single quotes. So my name is Vipin is here. And then here he said, comma, in double quotes, welcome. So this is uh, like you're saying in the first tense. So you, you, you're going to use it, use it this way. Okay. I hope you like the video. If you want full recording of this video, then contact us at info at the rate nstc.in. Further, if you want to enroll in these type of workshops, then go to the website nanoschool.in where you can easily register in the upcoming amazing workshops. I have given all the links in the description box below. Subscribe to the channel Knowledge Star and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.